Good morning dear children. Today in this video we are going to see chapter number 4 working with calculator and this is our first chapter for SAM 2. So first of all we will see how to start calculator. Okay. So you have to click on the start button then all programs and then accessories in that you have to find for calculator okay you just have to click on calculator so this is how your calculator will get open and by using this window itself you can perform calculations mathematical calculations so before going into that we will quickly introduce to the calculator buttons and how they work okay so basically we are going to see functions of calculator buttons first can you see the C button it is for clear okay this button is used to clear the last calculation then can you see CE button just left to immediate left to C button full forms are very important which you have to remember okay CE is for clear entry so this button is used to erase the last display number then you can see the immediate left there is one arrow okay heading backward so this button deletes the last digit of the displayed number so this button works just as the backspace key of keyboard then MC button it is for memory clear this button clears a number from calculators memory then MR memory recall this button recalls a number from calculators memory MS memory store this button stores a number in calculators memory erasing whatever was already there in the memory okay then M plus so when you press this button an M symbol will appear on the left of the display area and this button adds a number to any number already there in calculator's memory. Then M minus. Okay, it will be the opposite of M plus. So M minus button subtracts a number from the number already present in calculator's memory. Okay, so these are the important buttons and uh, simple 0 to 9 are printed and then the basic arithmetic operations plus minus multiplication division square root percentage and fractions okay and decimal also and then for getting the result equal to sign is there so suppose you want to perform 6 plus 7 then you have to press 6 button then plus button then 7 button and then after pressing is equal to sign you will get the answer 13 and that will be displayed on the screen so this is how by using the buttons different different buttons you can perform the calculations okay so the practical things we will learn in the session only these are the some theoretical points which are important for you to remember thank you so much students study well at your home we will meet next time in the video till then bye everybody and don't forget to like subscribe and share our channel thank you